They're back. The 17 year cicada emerged from underground. It's a milestone. It's a, one of nature's wonders. Here in New Jersey, you'll be able to spot the insects until the end of June. A cicada only lives about four weeks as an adult. Monmouth University's Katherine Duckett. The life cycle of a cicada is simple. They emerge now, they'll mate, the females will lay eggs. They have an ovipositor that's kind of like a saw, and they saw into leaves, twigs, and roots of uh, trees and shrubs. The eggs hatch underground. Um, the nymphs grow for 17 years as per their genetic programming, and then in 2030, they'll hatch again, and the cycle will be repeated. So far, most of the cicada sightings have been reported in North Jersey. I expect that most of the distribution of emergence is historical, that there's a large concentration of plants. They were there before, they're there now. Some New Jerseyans won't be throwing welcome back parties anytime soon. They're just annoying and they're ugly and they're crawling all over and they're very, very noisy and um, they're scaring all the kids and um, they're unpleasant. My daughter will not approve of them, that's for sure. They're just scary looking, yeah, and they make noise. But the insects aren't harmful. They eat tree sap. They're not going to hurt your plants. They're not going to hurt you. Perhaps the cicadas are most famous for the sounds they make. The noise is their mating call. They're saying, hey, baby, come and get it. Hey, baby, I'm ready. Duckett says cicadas need about five days of hot weather. That's their signal for emergence. But why do they spend 17 years underground? The 17 years underground is because it's a prime number and many insects and other predators time their life cycles to coincide with the life cycles of their prey. The insects are also considered a snack for people. Many native cultures value cicadas because they are high in protein and fat. I'm sure they would be good. Duckett hopes the 2030 emergence is as big as this year's, but she says that all depends on how much we take care of Mother Nature. In West Long Branch, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.